I'm Antoine Hawkins, special needs librarian with the Greensboro Public Library. Let's face it, we're all getting older, and that's a great thing when you stop to consider the alternative. To provide you and care providers with invaluable information, several friends who work in various professions supporting our aging community came to the library to help you make more informed decisions so that you can age to perfection. The Medicare Open Enrollment is October 15th through December 7th, and it's a perfect time to consider making changes to your Medicare plans. Now, Jeff Shell with the Health Insurance Shop stopped by Central Library to share some tips, whether you're new to Medicare or you need to make changes to your current plans. So, get ready for open enrollment October 15th through December 7th. Now, here's Jeff. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm here at the Greensboro Central Library with Antoine Hawkins, and we're going to talk a little bit about Medicare Advantage plans and prescription medications. We have the annual enrollment period coming up between October the 15th and December the 7th. So if you haven't looked at your prescription drug plans in the last year or two, now might be a good time to review. So uh, my name is Jeff Shell, and I'm with the Health Insurance Shop. Our offices are located over at Historic Revolution Mill. We help folks with their under 65 insurance as well as their um, Medicare Advantage plans. We are independent brokers, so we represent everybody equally so we can represent you. Um, for those of you that don't really know what a Medicare Advantage plan is, it's Part C of Medicare. It combines Medicare Part A, which is the hospital benefit, Medicare Part B, which is the medical benefit, and Medicare Part D, which is the prescription drug benefit. In other words, a Medicare Advantage plan provides all the health and the prescription drug benefits all into one card. So we're going to talk a little bit today about some drug strategies that might help you pick a Medicare Advantage plan, along with some additional other tips to help you save some money on prescription medications. Okay, so number one, first of all, for all of you folks that are new to Medicare, I've got some folks that come in and say, hey, I don't take any prescription medications. Why do I have to enroll in a Medicare prescription drug plan? Well, if you don't enroll in a Medicare prescription drug plan when you're first eligible and you wait until you really need one, then you run the risk of having a prescription drug Part D penalty that will stick with you for the rest of your life. And that could be pretty expensive. So even if you're not taking any medications at all, you should consider enrolling in a Medicare Advantage plan with prescription drug coverage or a Medigap plan with a standalone prescription drug plan, okay? So um, number two, for all of you folks that are taking prescription medications, or you folks that are already on Medicare and you're looking at different Medicare Advantage plans, you have to be aware that prescription medications a lot of times drive plan selection, okay? So what we do is we look at prescription medications and we narrow down the plans to maybe the top two or three that might be most favorable to the medications that you're taking. After all, there's over 25 prescription drug plans in Guilford County alone. First thing you want to do is check your plan's formulary and ensure all the medications that you're taking are listed on your plan, okay? Obviously, if they're not listed, you're going to pay a lot more for them. Understand the tier level pricing so you'll know what each drug costs. Tier level 1 is the least expensive and it's a preferred generic. Tier level 5 or 6 are specialty drugs. They're the most expensive, okay? Number 3. Know the difference between non-preferred standard and preferred pharmacies. If your plan has both, say a standard and a preferred or a non-preferred and preferred, if you shop at the preferred pharmacy, you're going to get the best value for your medications. Number four, consider your purchase options. First of all, ask your pharmacist or doctor for the generic equivalent to the brand name drugs that you might be taking. Number two, if your plan has a mail order option, sometimes that might, might be the least expensive. If you're only getting a 30-day prescription, consider a 90-day prescription because a lot of times there's some price incentives 
that will save you money. Also ask about the, your pharmacist about the cash price. Even if you have a plan, sometimes the cash price might be better, okay? Number five, if you're taking some very expensive medications, perhaps they're a brand name drug on a tier level four and you can't afford it, then a lot of times your physician will work with you on a drug formulary exception, okay? And what that'll do is move that drug from a tier level four down to a tier level three and make it more affordable for you. Tip number six, avoid the donut hole. And I'm not talking about Krispy Kreme. I'm talking about the donut hole or the coverage gap that is one of the drug phases in the prescription drug plan. These are for folks that take a lot of medications or very expensive medications, not the average American out there, okay? So if you're taking a lot of medications or a few that are very expensive, consult with a professional, okay? You wanna avoid or prolong that coverage gap for as long as possible because you're gonna pay the most for your prescription drugs while you're in the coverage gap. Number seven. If you have a Medigap plan or a Medicare supplement plan and a standalone prescription drug plan, you might want to consider switching over to a Medicare Advantage plan. The reason being, a lot of times the drug deductibles are less expensive and that alone could save you hundreds of dollars every year. Number eight, if you don't qualify for Medicaid, but you're kind of on the bubble, you might want to apply for extra help, okay? Social Security Extra Help is a low income subsidy program that helps pay for your prescription medications and maybe even your uh, Part D premiums as well. Number nine, apply for a medical savings program or Medicaid, okay? You can do that through the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, the North Carolina Contact Center, or the local Department of Social Services. Give us a call and we can even help you do it online. It's no charge. We don't charge anything for our services. We educate, we advocate, and enroll, okay? We're paid by the plan. Number 10, uh, if you have diabetes or congestive heart failure and you live in Guilford County, there's a chronic special needs plan available for you to help you pay for your prescription medications. So if you have diabetes or congestive heart failure, Please give us a call and let us know and we'll give you the details about your plan selection. Finally, number 11, because I said there were almost 12. Seek help from a professional, okay? Most people that help folks with their Medicare plans, whether it's a standalone prescription drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan, don't charge for their services. Make sure you look for an independent broker that represents all the plans out there because they're going to help you choose a plan and not sell you one that they have. Finally, I want to thank you all for coming. I want to remind you about the annual enrollment period that starts October the 15th and ends December the 7th. Good luck and please let us know if you can help, if we can help. My name is Jeff Shell and I'm with the Health Insurance Shop here in beautiful Greensboro at Historic Revolution Mill. Thanks very much. Goodbye.